After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, Japan secretly trained its Navy to use their new stealth arsenal. They had built over 170 submarines during World War II, but only four were I-400 class Sentokus. Pilot Kazuo Takahashi recalls the dangers of training in his new sarin aircraft. Sometimes the engine would stall, and the only thing you can do is crash land on the water. During the two years of my service period, the engine stopped three or four times. Frankly, since you were landing such a heavy weighted plane on the water, it was disastrous with floats flying all over the place. By 1944, Japan was being overpowered, and their conquered empire in the South Pacific was crumbling. Admiral Yamamoto devised a plan to gain back control by strangling the flow of supplies to the Allied forces. A daring raid would send the Sentokus to destroy the Panama Canal, effectively stopping the movement of reinforcements from the Atlantic to the Pacific. We headed west from Singapore to the Indian Ocean and crossed it. We passed the southern tip of Cape Town, South Africa, to the Atlantic Ocean, heading north to the Caribbean Sea and approached the Panama Canal. In this way, the Americans would never suspect we were coming. The submarine would surface on the Atlantic side of the Panama Canal, not from the Pacific side where the Allies might expect a Japanese attack. I was very confident that we could destroy the Panama Canal. With the 800-pound bombs we had on each of our planes, we felt the chance of success were high. Like a storm from the clear sky, the Sarans would plunge to their final target, the Gatton Locks. As with all missions in the final days of the war, this was a one-way flight, a toko, or suicide mission. Others were dying every day. 130 men were dead out of 170 in our teams, and I thought it would be my turn next. So, if I was going to die anyway, I wanted to make my death worthwhile by crashing into the Panama Canal with a Seiran aircraft for the sake of Japan. 